god, look! It's a banana vending machine! I put my money in and it should give me food! Like, look at the way it stretches like that! Oh my god! I'm scared! Okay. Hello everyone! We are here in Tokyo and today I'm gonna be spending the whole day eating only from vending machines for 24 hours. So I hope we can find some good stuff. Obviously I see a lot of vending machines with drinks and stuff, but I definitely want to find some hot food vending machines as well. So let's go to the first vending machine. Okay, so now we're coming up on our first vending machine and I looked it up and it's a popcorn vending machine So I ventured out to find this specific thing and I found it. It's right here. Oh my gosh, look um, I don't see any English so I'll probably have to figure that out But also here there's like a lot of vending machines like look we got more vending machines in here Oh my god, this is kind of creepy but kind of cool at the same time and there's a lot of options here. We just got some random stuff. Like, what is this? And then we have some chips. Oh my god, bugs. Ah! Oh my god, okay, get out. Ah! Oh my god, this one has escargot. Escargot. And then there's even more in here. Oh my goodness. This thing is like a maze of vending machines. I'm so glad I found this because I was scared I wasn't going to find enough stuff to eat. But there seems to be a good amount of options here. Oh my god, look, they even have like fish balls and stuff, like fish tempura. All right, so now that I've browsed all the different options they have here, I think first things first, I came for the popcorn, so I'm gonna get that first, and then I'm also probably gonna get a drink. So yeah, I'm gonna go try to work the popcorn machine. Yeah, there's legit no English, but I assume these are the three options, and they all look like the same characters, and they're the same price, so I assume they're just the same thing. Hopefully nothing can go wrong. So I'm just gonna insert my money and then click on one of these and hope something happens. A few moments later. So I put my money in, see it says 220, which is the price of these. But does this mean like sold out or out of order? I don't know. But then how do I get my money back? In the Google Translate, it just says that it says salty. Popcorn. It doesn't say anything about it being out of order. I guess it's just not gonna work. Ugh. And they took my money. How do I get it back? Give me my money back. Okay. We'll try something else. All right. I'm gonna try for this fish cake thing. Might regret it, but let's do it. Is it out? No. It took my money and it didn't give me anything. Dude, what is happening? Dude, you literally took my money. What the hell? Oh my god. I just got my money stolen for the second time. What? It shouldn't be this hard. I put my money in and it should give me food. Rude. Extremely rude. Okay, I'm just gonna try this drink one because I shouldn't fail at this one right and I'm very curious about that apple coke so okay, let's hope this works oh okay we're on a semi wobbly bench but let's try this coke oh my god I did not expect it to explode like that cheers apple coke it pretty much tastes like normal coke but with a little bit apple it doesn't have as strong of that pure coke taste actually this is pretty good like I don't really like coke that much but I'd actually drink this apple one all right, now we got this fish cake one, and it's cold, so I don't know how that's gonna work, but I grabbed this straw from Lawson's to use as my utensil. Dude, how do you open this? Ow! Oh! Okay, it's open. It smells suspicious. I'm actually pretty nervous about this. This is the... some kind of tofu, I think. Or this is fish tempura, I don't know. Let's try it. Uh, it's so cold. And the texture is like so slimy. Uh, it doesn't taste very good. Uh, I can't really eat that. Okay, let's see what else do we have in here. Oh my god, there's even noodles in here. Look at these noodles. Okay. I guess let's try these noodles.
You know, the noodles are probably the best part of this. But that's because the noodles itself doesn't have much flavor. It's the most bland, so that's why I think it's the best. This was not a huge success, but I still have hope that we'll find something good. So, see you guys at the next vending machine. So now it's a few hours later and I'm getting hungry again. So I saw online that there is this hamburger vending machine. I took quite a long subway ride to get here. So it's kind of removed from the bustling city. So we're coming up here on the hamburger vending machine. And I think it's here. It's like this thing, I think. Let's see. It's supposedly part of this little shop and then this is the vending machine, but I think it's more of a makeshift vending machine. So let's just see what this is all about. So it looks like we have some options here, like, I don't know, egg maybe? And I don't know, you really can't even tell what these things are by the pictures. Like what, this literally, what is that? It looks like poop. <laughs> um, okay, so I guess I'll just get a few items. Oh, maybe it's like a yam? Maybe it's yam. Okay, I don't know. There's only one of each and it just drops if you buy it. Okay, so I got two items. There really is no proper place to eat this. There's no bench or anything. So I'm literally just squatting on the ground, you know, Asian squat. I don't even know what these are. You can't even tell what they are from the picture. And obviously I couldn't read the Japanese. So I guess let's just open these up. Okay, so here's the first item. Looks like you got some lettuce, mayo, and like some kind of fried thing. Maybe fish or chicken? I don't know. Oh, a little bit of onion in there too. They're a little skimpy on the uh, meat, but I guess for 100 yen, you can't complain. All right, let's try this. It's chicken. It really needs that mayo, or else it would be super, super dry, just with the bun, the chicken, and the lettuce. Um, the chicken is kind of dry, but I mean, what can you expect? For 100 yen out of a vending machine, I'll take it. Mm. And this is definitely better than that canned fish cake thing that we ate earlier. And that was like 390 yen for that gross fish cake thing, and this is only 100. So I'd take four of these for one of those, for sure. Oh my god. <sighs> I'm getting tired from squatting. I'm not true Asian. Okay, let's try this second item. So it's still that same kind of bun that we got. It's a little bit more firm. Oh, whoa. And we have, uh, looks like a beef patty in there and lettuce, ketchup, and yeah, looks like that's it. Some onion and some kind of sauce. Mayo and ketchup maybe. <laughs> let's try this 100 yen vending machine hamburger. That's definitely ketchup. I mean, the beef patty, it's really, really small and thin in there. I mean, it's not horrible. The bun is like not as soft and pillowy as the first one we had. It has this like crunchy layer on the top. Oh my God, I can't squat anymore. Oh my God. I couldn't squat any longer, but so I'm just gonna stand here, hold my camera and eat. But I think these are like, they're just okay. Like, I think you can definitely find something better at 7-Eleven or Lawson for like the same price or maybe more, a little bit more money, but this is probably the best food we're gonna get out of a vending machine today, so. I better eat up. Okay, so we've been eating from vending machines all day and I need some nutrients, like real nutrients. So I read online that there is a fruit vending machine here in Shibuya Station and I have searched far and wide to find it. And we're finally here. Oh my God, look, it's a banana vending machine. This thing is not easy to find. Like so many of the vending machines are not easy to find. They're so uh, confusing. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I'm just really happy that we found it. So let's get a banana. It feels so good. Okay, honestly, today has consisted of looking for vending machines and then finding them 
or not finding them and eating very mediocre food out of those vending machines <laughs> but this banana i hope it's good it's cold that's why i'm putting it on my face but it's really small and for 150 yen oh my god that's expensive whatever i'm gonna shut up and eat my banana again there's not really a good place to put my camera so i guess i'm just squatting on the floor and eating it <laughs> Here's my tiny expensive banana that I search far and wide for. Did you know you're supposed to open the banana from this side? My whole life I always open it from this side. But apparently this is the right way. Oh my gosh. It doesn't even seem right because the skin is like sticking on there. It's not peeling very well. And what is this? What is that? I'm not gonna eat that part. All right, I took that gross part off. So let's eat this expensive banana. I think this is the only thing I ate today. I knew exactly what it would taste like. I don't even like bananas that much, <laughs> but feels good after having canned and bottled foods and drinks all day. Just stop by the Nato, Nato, N A T T O. How do you pronounce that? Nato, 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 Nato. I'm gonna say Nato. Vending machine, they have one. I got a pack of three for 180 yen. I've never had it before, and I know it's kind of like an acquired taste dish. Like some people don't like it. I think it's because of the texture. So when you open it up, it comes with two sauces and that's the natto, I believe. Oh my God, look at the way it stretches. Ah, that's kind of like scary, I don't know. Wait, I don't even have a utensil. Okay, I'm back. There's a supermarket right behind me. I just grabbed a coffee stirrer and that will be my utensil. And I also got this little apple juice, I think. I don't know, it's actually quite light colored for an apple juice, so I don't even know what it is. I bought it thinking it was apple juice. We'll see what it is, but I bought it to accompany my natto. Ugh, I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm adding the sauce. I don't know what this is. It looks like mustard. And I'm just putting the trash here because I don't have anywhere else to put it. Okay, let me just mix this in. I'm so freaking scared. The texture just looks so sketch. Look at that. Like, look at the way it stretches like that. Oh my god. Ah, I'm scared. Okay. And for those that don't know what natto is, it's like a Japanese food that's like soybeans and it's like fermented with something. Clearly I know what I'm talking about, but I just read that it's served with mustard and soy sauce. So that must have been those two packets that we got. Um, I'm just gonna do the damn thing. First time trying natto. Oh my God, where's my apple juice? Oh my God, I wanna spit it out. Two hours later. Oh my god, it's so slimy. And I hate the little like strands of stuff. Oh my god, it's still in my mouth. I don't even know how to describe the taste. It's just gross. I'm gonna try to end this video on a sweet note and I'm gonna find an ice cream vending machine. And there's no way we can go wrong with that, right? Okay, let's go find one. Oh my god, guys. We made it to an ice cream vending machine. Oh my gosh, I thought this would never happen because every time I pass a vending machine, I will look and see what it is. And it's usually just those basic drink ones. So I'm so happy we found one at the Akihabara station. So let's see what we got. We have so many different varieties. All right, this is number one. I'm gonna get it. Yay, I'm so glad we found it. This is the cookies and cream ice cream special selection from 17 ice cream. There are no freaking benches nearby again, so I'm just gonna hold the camera in one hand and hold this and try to do this. So here we go. Oh wait, how am I supposed to eat this? Oh cool! Wait, am I supposed to like push it up or what? I don't know, I'm just pushing it up. That seems to be a decent technique. Looks pretty good. Mmm, mmm. It's hell of a lot better than that natto. It's just the perfect treat. It's been so hot here in Tokyo, so 
Love this. Also, let me know if I'm eating this wrong. This is the only way. Oh, I, I'm pretty sure I'm eating it wrong. Oh my god, I'm supposed to peel this tap back and I think it is like a cone or something. Whatever, this is my makeshift way of eating it with one hand. What a sweet ending to a very roller coaster of a day. Overall, this was a really cool experience where I got to try unconventional things out of a vending machine and I really hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know down in the comments what is the weirdest thing you have ever eaten out of a vending machine or what did I eat out of a vending machine today that surprised you. And yeah, if you guys like these videos and you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell so you get notified when I upload. Give this video a thumbs up. And I have a feeling you might enjoy some of these other Japan videos that I filmed. So I'm going to put them right here on the screen. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!